What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We ain't in Texas no more. We're out here on Lake Okeechobee. But G3 Outfitters, Brad Gibson. If you follow along, you've seen him a hundred times. It's time for the bluegills, the shellcrackers, and most importantly, the Mayan cichlids to spawn here on Lake Okeechobee. Everybody on YouTube, all you fishermen on Instagram complain about non-native species. This is the time of year that you can come out here and actually make a dent on them. Now Brad's catching a big Bluegill. old, Bluegill a today. big old beautiful copperhead. Mm -hmm. Now that bluegill eats really good as well. So does a shell cracker. But a Mayan cichlid tastes just as good, if not better than all of them. Now he just put that one in the well. I guess he's eating bluegill. <laughs> Myself, I'm gonna try to catch as many cichlids as I can today. I don't care if it's 300, I'm gonna go back clean some of them, take them to our good friend's restaurant, let them cook them up. Then we're gonna go find somebody fishing on the shore, somebody that doesn't have a boat, and we're gonna give them a big mess of fish. I'm actually gonna put a GoPro on my head. I never do that. Actually, when I was young, right here, I got hit in the head with a baseball bat on accident when we were playing Little League Baseball. I've got like a little knot right there, and a cowboy hat and a GoPro on my head gives me the biggest headache, but I'm gonna do it for y'all. This is how it's going down right here. You want the worm wiggling. It's not the size of the worm, it's how you wiggle it. Then you find you a rather nice size, either a shell cracker or a cichlid, and you just pitch it to him. And hope he comes and gets it. <laughs> you're much easier than that. Now I don't care where you're at in the country, if you have panfish, you need to go catch them. Most places other than South Florida don't have all the exotics, but fortunately for us, we do. We've got Mayan cichlids and jaguar cichlids and peacocks. We've got spotted tilapia, green tilapia, bluegills, shellcrackers, stump knockers, oscars. We've got it all here. And Brad offers largemouth bass, both shiners and artificial. Hi there, there you go. The big one. Oh yeah. Gee, Jake. This is six pounder right here. Get the net, Luke. I don't need him, Luke. I don't need him, Luke. Hey, no, 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 no. I don't need Pick him up. Pick up, Luke. Pick up, Luke. There you Get go. Get out of here. Jump, Jake and Luke. Teamwork. Oh. That didn't take long. Or trips just like this. You can bring your kids, your whole family, or come by yourself. I wonder why some of them are the creamy pink color. And then some of them are bright orange. Gotta be something to do with spawns. I know I'm ready to eat some of these jokers. Oh yeah, right there. Some oh shellcracker just come and took it away from me. You can catch them on beetle spins. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that right now. Where's your let's let me use this last worm and then let's throw a beetle spin for a second. I thought you, you don't supply rags to wipe the worm no. worm juice on. It's all got to go right big, on my big shirt. Big right over there. Where'd he go? Oh, right there. Oh, there's one. Like, see how that last one was real creamy pink, and this one's sort of a dark brown, dark black, and orange. They all taste the same, though. That's twice it hasn't That's went in the well. Number two that missed a 35 gallon well back there. They've got big old spines like a dang sheep's head. All right, let me see if I can catch one on the beetle spin. There's a bunch of them on bed back there. Now, if you're wondering why we have so many bass rods in here, we actually bass fish this morning. Brad and I used to do a lot of bass fishing together, and now that I do YouTube. Look at all those big cichlids right there. Oh. Three or four of them together. I do so much traveling, and I don't. Get, oh, he's chasing it. I don't. Oh. Oh, I don't get to fish as much as I like to. I fish. Oh. Oh. Look at them all coming. I fish, just not a lot of fresh water like this. All right, I'm gonna get one this cast. This wind is so weird today. It's blowing like three different directions. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, we got it. Oh, oh, that's oh big one. Yeah. That one's lit up. Mm-hmm. Here, you can take the rod and I'll film for a sec. I'm glad my hands aren't the only ones that are rough. <laughs> it's bad. I've been doing this all week catching these things. Oh, come on, you got it? Look at that. Big old slab daddy shell cracker. That's a big one. Not as near as big as they get, but as big as my hand. I've been eyeballing that fish right there for a while. He's going home too. Brad, we caught 20 cichlids when we got here. Up oh, now, right now you finally got one. I got a big one on. Look at them. Pound for pound, nothing that like fights like them. There's nothing that fights like them. Period. <laughs> Could you imagine if that fish right there got 150 pounds? <laughs> they don't make a rod to catch it. It would be way worse than a Goliath grouper. Yeah. I can remember when those fish first started showing up when mom owned the RV park probably 15 years ago. The rim canal got low and we were catching them down those rock ledges. They were so thick in there. Then That's the earliest I remember catching them. Had those freezes i think in around 2008 2010 where we had five days in a row below freezing um, at night and um, they really checked out i mean it killed almost every one of them they're making a strong comeback now everybody on the internet says it doesn't get too cold in florida you remember the morning we went to the prairie deer hunting and it was 21 degrees uh. And you jumped the buck and you called me you're like get out he's coming i said i ain't do i'm not getting out of the truck there was ice on the coolers back of the truck. My brand, I remember I had a brand new Duramax and it was flashing 21 degrees. I don't know how your dog survived. <laughs> All right, let's see. Right there. I got me, I got on me a little hot spot. Hey. We're sitting here talking about it being cold in Florida and his AC's out. That's a mean fish right there, folks at home. I wish y'all could see it, but right there is a big one. So I just dropped the worm. Oh no, oh no. Big cichlid just come and took it away from the shell cracker. You guys, you can't have more fun than this. You just can't. So they got somebody coming to fix the AC? Yep, and they said me after lunch probably. Ooh, those girls are gonna be cooking in the hair salon. Brad's wife owns pretty much the biggest hair salon in Okeechobee. I don't think you could get a much worst case scenario, a bunch of women in a hot room. No. Where they at? Where's me a big one? Do we need to go, um, do we need to go noodling? for some armored catfish. <laughs> that was so fun that day. Those two cichlids right here are in the hole. Got your butt. You got one? Boy, she's done calling you back again. She ain't happy. That's my phone? Let me see. Who calling me? Potential spam. Ain't worried about that. You gotta be one across there somewhere. Oh, you're going, you're going. There he way is. Up. Turn the handle one time. He's in all them paths. He's like, not out of there. There he is. That's a trophy. Mm -hmm. Um, I forgot. I forgot we were eating them. Oh. 
Yeah, that. I dropped it back to him and he ate it. Right when I get a phone call. Come here, big boy. Get out of there. Let's see who's calling me. Larry Tatum. Larry Tatum, we're filming right now. We can't talk. Hey, um, how about not turning that one loose? Okay. He was hooked good. <laughs> Jeez. He just stuck his fin on through my hand. <laughs> it sure is a good thing. We already have a whale full of fish. Brad, there's, look at the, let me take my glasses off and show y'all. Look how much different it looks with Polaroid's glasses. Y'all see all those fish swimming around? Those are all cichlids and shell crackers. There's a pile of them. Let's see if we can catch another one with the old beetle spin. This wind is so temperamental today. Dude, you're not going to believe it, Brad. What? I just caught a cichlid. On the first cast? <laughs> you're not going to believe it. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth with the old beetle spin. White with a black dot. Cichlids, shell crackers. That ain't that bad. Trust me when I say if you can get out here on Lake Okeechobee and do this, you need to come do it. If you can't, call Brad. I'll have his information on the screen right now. He can put you on largemouth bass. These two species and big alligators. For those of y'all that don't know, our alligator season starts August 15th and goes through November 1st. Brad's got a ton of tags. I've got a ton of tags. And if you want to come gator hunting, and maybe even come gator hunting with me, I'm gonna have Brad's number, again, right on the screen, right now. Y'all come get in on some of this action. So for all of y'all that think you know how to clean a fish, or you think that I know how to clean a fish, y'all's minds are about to be blown because I'm gonna show you some people that do know how to clean fish, and lots of them really fast. You guys, wait till you see this. Just wait. Let me show this. Let me show this. Look at the fish. fight with her. Hey, how come you're it don't look like you have any fish but they got all the fish. Play my friend, play fish. Oh these are the bigger ones that you flag. You see? Nice my friend. Hey you see this? Let me show you. Oh my goodness. You see, really? You see that? What happened in Filet too? Yeah. Oh man, it's no bueno. It's no bueno. No, these knives, you're not careful. You know how to clean a bluegill? A fillet? Yeah. Oh, I never fillet bluegill. Brad, we're gonna be, we're gonna, they're not like, we're gonna look like amateurs. <laughs> so they're actually cleaning whole catfish that will be sold whole right here, which we're gonna eat some today too. Buddy, here's the owner right here. How many catfish do you go through a month? 20,000 a week. Pounds? Yeah. So I just took them and took the scales off. That's all I've done. We're gonna do a taste test comparison, that's all. Then we'll flay a couple of them. And the girls in the restaurant are gonna cook them for us. Anytime you're cooking a fish whole like that, Score up just a little bit. That dude's still kicking, Brad. Right? <laughs> 
Just like that. Get the guts out. What is your name? Oliver. What is it? Oliver. Oliver? So Oliver and all of his buddies that work here asked if they could have some fish. I said, not only can you have some fish, you can have all the fish except for what we're gonna eat. These guys work so hard cleaning fish for Buddy. He's a good friend of ours that owns the place. But these fish are for sale. They're not to keep. I'm gonna give him that whole basket. Score that. Just like that. Look at that. Ooh, we're gonna be eating good in the hood. Look here. These girls in here don't know we're about to walk in with the camera. All right, y'all. Don't panic. Only about two to three hundred thousand people are about to watch y'all. Hey, we need somebody to cook these fish for us. Big tails. Who's gonna do it? Great. You gonna do it? Look at them. I told y'all they didn't know we were filming. What you want me to do with it? You want it ready? Yeah. So in case y'all are really confused at this point where we're at, we're at Okeechobee Fish Company. Not only do they sell a ton of catfish, they also have frog legs and salmon and vermilion snapper. They can legally sell. See, that's the crazy thing about in Florida. You see that tag? To sell bluegill in Florida, they have to each individually be tagged. Some clams, some crawfish, some shrimp. Brad, we need fried shrimp too. Fried shrimp? Yep. Okay. Tell them we need some fried shrimp. Got some fish dip. Now they're open Tuesdays through Sunday. In this place, sat Saturday? Tuesday through Saturday. And I promise you this is one of, if not the best place to eat in Okeechobee. Okeechobee, Florida. Buddy, where are you going with this big cooler? We're um, bringing us shell cracker fish and we're gonna fill it up. Oh, we got a lot of shell crackers. Hey. Hey. Try, I try to go fishing. Yeah. I try to catch for a speck. I never catch none. I stay five, four hours, never. I lost more money in buy bags, nothing. I see you, one basket, man, it's really good. It's, you catch nice. Hey, I'm glad you can enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go eat. I'm starving. You fished me too long today. One thing I'll tell you about YouTube and being a YouTuber, most of the time we sleep in because most nights when I get home and I have the boys, I'll edit all night long till two, three in the morning. And I just got home from Texas and I got to give a huge shout out to all y'all who watch my big gar video. That's in 24 hours been my biggest video i've ever done but anyhow i get home from texas edit that video until about three in the morning barely get any rest the next day and brad told me i had to be at the boat ramp this morning at like 5 45 so i had to leave my house at 4 45. i probably need a tissue at this point but or a nap i'm so ready to eat well would you look at that it's good <laughs> man little sharpies this is the shell cracker and that is the cichlid all right take you a bite let's see which one better oh that's hot that's so hot good night i got pretty that cichlid he is mm. why are these not in restaurants everywhere that's a lot better than the shell cracker yeah i ain't no even joking try it that tastes muddier. Ooh. Way muddier. Way that, better. The cichlid, the, the one that everybody hates. Way better eat. That one's not bad. That's just good. Yeah. So here's my thing. And if you follow along, you've heard me say it before. Everybody complains about the non-native species taking over. Here's my opinion. Almost every non-native fish in South Florida, the snakehead, the peacock, the cichlids, they all fight harder, they're cooler looking, and they all taste better. Now, I'm not saying we need to just let them completely take over, but 
if I'm gonna go fishing, I don't really care what I catch. So you're never gonna hear me complain about these non-native species. And for the most part, wherever you go fishing and there's cichlids or uh, peacocks or snakeheads, you'll still see bluegill and shellcrackers and bass. I think we need to just adapt and say they're here, come and catch them and eat them. You can't go wrong. Even the, the meat is wider on this one. Look at that. That fish is so much better to me than this shell cracker. Look, way wider. Mm. Yeah, I got these bad boy right here. Mm -hmm. Goodness, them catfish tails are good. Are these Okeechobee cat, uh, shrimp? Yeah. Grass shrimp? Right at the Kissimmee River. <laughs> That's a grass shrimp. Yeah. Grass we grow them big in Okeechobee, y'all. Mm. Make sure you check out G3 Outfitters. I've already put his information in earlier and I'll put it again right here. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. That way when I upload, you get notified right away. Thanks for all the positive comments. And thanks for all the support. But right now, this video is ending. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing if you already have. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here. Get the heck out of shape. See y'all.